what's going on guys just got a really short video i just want to show you this bluetooth keyboard that i picked up and i picked it up especially for the fire tv stick it's the first bluetooth keyboard that i've tried with it and it works flawlessly so i thought i'd upload this video for anyone who wanted to know how it works and how well it works i got it off amazon um i got it really cheap about 15.99 i think it was standardly it's about 25 pound but I got it with a discount code. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can get it. I'll leave a link of the discount code that I did use. I'm not sure if it's still working now or not. Um, and basically, this is it. You get a nice little box with it. As you can see there, it's instantly connected to the Fire TV when it's powered on. Because I've already linked it up. Comes in a nice little box. You get um, a charger cable and your instructions and if you can just see there that is where that it charges it uses a micro USB just plug it into a standard USB plug from your phone or something like that and it'll charge up it's all in the description in the booklet of um, how you charge it how you know it needs charging and all that good stuff I'm just gonna quickly show you how I got it connected up to the fire TV now, as you can see, I'm navigating the Fire TV home screen with this, so it doesn't just work for code air. I know a lot of people will only want it for that, but it does work on the home screen as well. Now, to get it working, you need to sideload the settings APK, which is basically just um, the settings that has been pulled off an android device i'm not sure if it's a tablet or a phone and as soon as you open it you will recognize it's just your standard settings that you'd find on any android um, media box or phone or tablet and you want to navigate to the bluetooth section and you will hold the function key and i think it's the c key yep it's got the little bluetooth marker on it there you will hold them two together the key, the light on the keyboard will flash and you will search for devices from within this android apk you can see it in the top right and it will show up as it has here bluetooth keyboard now all you do basically using your fire tv remote is just select that and it will then link up with the keyboard and you can then use the keyboard instead of the remote now I'm just going to show you quickly how it works with um, Coda. It does have the media keys on there and they do work. The play and pause does work anyway. I've not tested the skip forward and back. I will do that now. We'll just quickly check out um, a file. I'll do some searching actually. And we will search a movie. We will search for Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, as you can see, that's popped up on screen. I'm just going to hit the enter to find it. And there we have it. I'm doing all this navigating with the keyboard itself. And this will also work guys with the Fire TV box as well. If you like the look of the keyboard and you want to use it for that and you don't have a stick, it will work with the box using the exact same method. The box does have um, obviously USB ports and you can use a vary of different remotes, media remotes. But if you do like the look of this one and you wanted to use it with the box, it will work. Now, I'm just going to quickly show you if I can with one hand. I'm going to select the function button and I'm going to hit this play pause button. So, I'm going to hold the function and hit that button as well. And as you can see, it's paused. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to hit play and it's played again. I know that the volume keys do not work. I'm pressing that now and it doesn't work. Neither does the volume down. 
um, I'll quickly test the skip forward so I'm holding the function pressing the skip forward and no that isn't working either and oh the, the, the skip back does work let's try the forward again no the forward doesn't work um, That this possibly could work with um, the new Coder 15.0 as I know that does now support chapters so that probably would work with that I think the compatibility with that is more to do with Kodi itself but that about sums up what I want to show you on this keyboard guys um, like I said I'll leave a link in the description of where you can pick this up and I hope this has helped anyone who's looking for a keyboard